Cyndaquil Community Day Classic is this weekend in Pokemon Go, and I wanna get you guys up to speed for this event. So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. So this event is June 22nd from 2 to 5 p.m., in which Cyndaquils will be spawning everywhere in the wild with a shine rate of one in 25. During the event, you can evolve Quilava Cyndaquil's evolution into Typhlosion to get the Legacy Charge Attack Blast Burn. This is actually, sorry, during the event or up to two hours after the event to get that. No, by the way, you cannot evolve your regular Quilavas into Hisuian Typhlosion, which kind of sucks. It's just kind of what we have. Both of the event will have two times catch XP, two times catch Stardust, three hour modules, three hour instances, and five snapshots during the day for five extra Cyndaquil encounters. We'll see exclusive Pokestop showcases for Cyndaquil during the event. We'll see exclusive field research tasks that will require you to catch three Cyndaquils to get Stardust, Great Balls, or more encounters with Cyndaquil. There'll be a one dollar special research store you can go ahead and buy. You do not need to buy this play of the event, but it does get you some more Cyndaquil encounters and some extra items. Still can be usually worth it. With the event teams as well, let's get right into the tips. Starting with, as always, what are the hundred percent IVs for Cyndaquil in Pokemon Go? On screen is going to be Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's perfect IV chart showing you a Cyndaquil hundo from level one all the way to level 50, what that CP number would be. But there's only a couple you can look at here. First of all, if you get a Cyndaquil from research, whether that be field, special, timed, whatever, they're always caught at level 15, which means 420 CP is going to be the hundo for a Cyndaquil from research. If you're catching Cyndaquils in the wild during weather boosted conditions, Cyndaquil is a fire type getting boosted in sunny weather. So if you're catching in sunny weather, level 35 is the highest a Pokemon can be in weather boost. So a 910 CP will be a guaranteed hundo Cyndaquil in weather boost because it's the highest CP it could potentially be. If you're catching Cyndaquils in any weather other than sunny though, level 30 will be the highest. 840 CP is going to be the hundo for a Cyndaquil in non weather boosted conditions. Other than that though, there's going to be 32 other 100% IV CPs you could find on a Cyndaquil. The best thing to do is just catch as many as you can with the quick catch technique and join a local Facebook or Discord group where people will sometimes, you know, call out the hundos they catch and you can go over and get it. But remember, just because you find like a 308 CP in the wild, it's not guaranteed to be a level 11 hundo Cyndaquil. It could be a higher level Cyndaquil with worse IVs. So take this chart with a grain of salt and just catch, catch, catch. Hundo though is not always the best. Sometimes you want PVP IVs in Pokemon Go. I'll put a video up here on why that is and a link below, but generally it just makes your Pokemon bulkier. So I wanna go through what the perfect IVs for a Typhlosion in PVP are so you guys can keep an eye on them during the day. First of all, for the Great League at 0, 15, 13 is gonna be the rank one IVs for a Typhlosion. But again, anything low attack, high defense, high stamina works fine. Like rank seven is a 0, 12, 15. If we're looking at the Ultra League at 0, 13, 15 will be the rank one, just switching out the two numbers, interesting. But again, anything low attack, high defense, stamina works generally well. Finally, the Master League, of course, 15, 15, 15, the hundo is obviously gonna be the best because there's no CP cap there. So those are rank one IVs, but the real question you guys are all asking, is Typhlosion actually any good in Pokemon Go? Let's get into it. First of all, in raids, Typhlosion, and honestly, any starter with Blast Burn is always going to be decent. Shadow Typhlosion sees a pretty high ranking, not including mega Pokemon in the fire type category. So it's great to go ahead and grind candies for this Pokemon if you have any Shadow Cyndaquils. Unfortunately though, Shadow Cyndaquil is not currently available from Grunt, so this would only be for the past ones. And then of course, regular Typhlosion, although it falls a little bit further behind with Blast Burn is still a decent fire type rate attacker and you can definitely get some use out of it, especially if you don't have a fire roster at all. First of all, taking a look at it in the Great League, it's gonna be ranked 184 in the Shadow, 218 in the non-Shadow. It just got the move Thunder Punch, which definitely helped Typhlosion be a little bit better, but by no means a meta Pokemon for the Great League, more of just a spice pick to grab. In the Ultra League, it will do a little bit better being ranked 113 in the non-Shadow and 116 in the Shadow form, but again, still on the verge of the meta. And then its CP is too low for the Master League. So overall, definitely grab yourself a Typhlosion or a Shadow Typhlosion for the PvP leagues, but don't expect this thing to be a top, top meta pick. However, it is pretty fun to run, especially with the new Thunder Punch move it was given. What it is necessary though during this event is taking advantage of the bonuses. First of all, two times catch XP. You don't know Pokemon Go when you hit an excellent throw, you'll get a thousand XP. And during two times catch XP, that's gonna be 2000 XP. With a Lucky Egg, that's 4000 XP every excellent throw you catch a Cyndaquil on. So if you're need of XP, you're going for level 40, level 50, prepping for level 60, go ahead and make sure you focus on hitting excellent and throws during this event on a lucky egg and get a lot of XP. But also they've doubled up the bonuses for this calm day, which is great. We have two times catch Stardust as well. Normally when you catch Pokemon, you're getting 100 Stardust, 200 during this event. And with a star piece, you're looking at 300 Stardust for catching a single Pokemon. That's like catching three Pokemon in one. So if you need Stardust during the event, catch as many uh, Cyndaquils as you can. On a star piece, you're getting a bunch of Stardust, a thousand Cyndaquils. I think that's like what, 300,000 XP, pretty good gains. So again, lucky egg, star piece is on the whole time. Focus on the excellent throws and catch as many as you can to get this. Artist. But of course, there's another commodity in Pokemon Go we need to talk about, which is going to be candy. You want to grind a lot of Cyndaquil candy, so you never really have to do it ever again. And you can have all the candies you need to power up the potential Cyndaquils. So what are my top candy tips? Well, number one, use Pineapple Berries. Regular Pineapple Berries will multiply your catch candy by two and Silver's by 2.34. So use Pineapple Berries on any Cyndaquils you catch. You can also go ahead and use Palkia's Spatial Rend, which is an ability on Palkia, which you can use for Stardust and Palkia candies, which will double your spawn radius, allowing you to see more 
syndicals, catch more syndicals, and of course, get more syndical candy. Mega Evolution, very important to talk about if you don't know when you mega evolve a Pokemon, any Pokemon you catch that shares a type with that mega, you'll get more candy, XP, and XL candy for that Pokemon. Of course, Cyndaquil is a fire type, so we want to make sure we mega evolve a proper fire type. That includes Mega Charizard X, Mega Charizard Y, Mega Houndoom, Mega Blaziken, or Primal Groudon. Make sure you mega evolve any one of those, and you'll get more candies for Cyndaquils during the event. Do not go into this calm day without a fire mega active. You can also go ahead and trade away your Cyndaquils. If you don't know when you trade away a Pokemon, you're going to get one candy, and if the distance between where those two Pokemon were caught is over 100 kilometers, you'll get two candies and a guaranteed XL candy. So if you have a friend who just recently went on a trip, or if you go play this calm day in like another city, then you come back to your local city, do some trades with some distance Pokemon, you can get a bunch of extra Cyndaquil candies. Not sure if it's fully worth it for Cyndaquil because it's not the most useful Pokemon, but still something to consider. Finally, go ahead and transfer Pokemon. Unfortunately, the two times transfer candy event for the month have already passed. So you're gonna have to wait until July. Hold on to those Cyndaquils, wait for the next spotlight hour, which I will update you here on the channel. And that is for when we have two times transfer candy and transfer your Pokemon with them. Finally, let's talk about Platinum L tips. You need 35 Platinum L's, go from level 48 to 49 in Pokemon Go. Which ones should you be working on during this event? Of course, the Kindler Metal, you catch 2,500 fire type Pokemon. You know, Cyndaquil's a fire type, catch as many as you can. And I always like to mention the Pokemon Ranger Metal, complete 2,500 field research tasks. Research tasks during Calm Day is super easy. It's catch three of the Calm Day Pokemon, which is everywhere. So if you haven't finished this medal, do as many research tasks as you can. You also got to mention the Tiny Pokemon Collector Medal and the Jumbo Pokemon Collector Medal. If you catch extra small or extra large Cyndaquils, of course you can use them in the showcases. But if you don't know when you evolve a extra small or extra large, it's an extra point towards this medal. So if you have a bunch of extra Cyndaquil candies, you might as well evolve those extra smalls and extra larges to get more points towards these medals. We do have three hour lure modules. So pick the metal, use a lure module to help any trainer catch 2,000 different Pokemon. Great metal to go ahead and work on. Be the first person to drop your lures on calm days in your busy area. People will flock to those lures, catch Pokemon off those lures, helping you work on this metal. The cameraman metal have 400 encounters in Go Snapshot, another great one to work on. You get five snapshots during this event, so just take them, you, they're free. And finally, of course, the showcase star metal, win 100 Pokestop showcases for that PhD Pikachu at the end. Try to win the showcases, try to catch the extra larges, drop them and win them. And again, always try to drop into the showcases that are less busy. Whether you're in a city or in a rural area, find the showcases that are kind of hard to get to and not a lot of people know about. Less competition means higher chance of you winning and getting you that PhD Pikachu. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, you will enjoy the one below. Good luck during Cyndaquil Calm Day. I hope you guys have an amazing time. We'll see y'all next one. Fall for dips. Peace.